Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tay, and I'm glad to be here again. However, sadly, this team has no lady. As you can see, there are only five guys. And actually, I don't know why Sean gave us this kind of hard situation. But we, so we named our team as five guys. And considering our team name, we choose to we choose to um, have a topic regarding gender. Before we start the presentation, uh, I have a few questions for you, ladies. Do you feel awkward or uh, are you uncomfortable wearing pants? No, no way, right? However, gentlemen, do you enjoy wearing skirts? No. Not really. <laughs> or have you ever tried not, e not even a once? In graduation. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> they, can, they could be an answer. Uh, some people might, might think that wearing skirts for men is not uh, suitable. And it can be, um, it can be uh, very difficult for men to wear. And they think they think that the skirt is woman's icon, or uh, it is ridiculous for a man to wear skirts. Look at this. These are the ideas from who uh, are against the uh, men's skirts. However, it is biased, and it, that is a misconception. And, and there is actually no reason for men to avoid skirts. And even even the, uh, it it had. Uh, and men have uh, many benefits if they wear uh, skirts. According to Dr. Kim jae -woo, the head doctor in uh, Mint, Mint Clinic, the main reason uh, for the men's infertility is because of the pants that suppress the lower part of the body and it makes a man to suffer from some diseases related to sexual organs. So now, we are pointing out that the idea men should not wear skirts is not fair, and we are going to show you, uh, we are going to share that idea and persuade you to believe it is absolutely fine for men to wear skirts. And there are three reasons. First, health. Second, usage. And equality, last equality. And um, first of all, let me briefly go over this discussion. As you can see, the infer infertility rates are going up these days. And do you think who, do, uh, which gender do you think it has responsibility? Most of people say that it is mainly because of women, but it's not that true. Uh, as you can see, the number of people who diagnose as an infertility is higher than the, that of male. However, the thing is that the growth rate of uh, infertility rate of male is six times higher than that of female. And it's getting bigger problems for men to solve. And second, uh, second reason is for the usage. Do you really think that skirt is not good looking on men? Uh, are you sure? Uh, well, I'm not. Uh, let's see a man who is cool and gorgeous and even sexy on his skirts. Guess who? It's G Dragon. Uh, I'm sure that you all love G Dragon. Uh, he, as you might know, he is the one of the best artist in the world, and he uses his skirts to be more fashionable. Uh, many people in these days uh, use uh, their skirt to be fashionable like him, and we call this man, these people as happy in Korea, which means fashion people. And gentlemen, why don't you be fashion people uh, with wonderful skirts? And last, gender equality. Back in the days, 
especially in Scotland, um, clothes were at uh, the skirts were the men's casual clothes. Uh, they wore uh, skirts to show their power or other authority to uh, to show their power or authority by uh, wearing skirts, and <clears throat> therefore it means that. Uh, Wearing skirts for men is nothing to do with gender. Uh, from now on, uh, we are going to talk about the three reasons in detail in the next presenter, uh, Minsu. We will talk about the first reason, health. Hello, my name is Minsu. Uh, now I will talk about where the reasons wearing skirt is better than wearing pants. First, wearing skirt protect men from infertility. Um, male infertility is caused by a variety of factors, uh, and some of the top causes include problems with the sperm, uh, with the abnormal shape or size, and uh, slow mobility, and uh, perhaps most commonly a low, a low overall sperm count. Lifestyle factors such as excessive alcohol intake or obesity and uh, poor diet can or reduce sperm health and uh, in increase base infertility. On the other hand, uh, making healthy lifestyle choices can increase fertility and according to Owen Jo Kompanje, he is the senior researcher at the Erasmus and she University Medical Center in Netherlands. Uh, he says throwing away, throwing away <laughs> the pants for a start may actually enhance fertility uh, and the sperm health. In many uh, mammal species, as cost generating sperm uh, requires the scrotal temperature. To be three degrees, three degrees lower than uh, body temperature. Uh, but when the men wear pants or jeans, their spiritual temperature is significantly higher than the case of wearing skirt. Actually, the researches show a uh, tight and uh, isolating. Clothing has a negative effect on the deep sculpture temperature. So, the research of Owinjo Kompanje says wearing skirt is better than wearing pants in health perspective. The second, wearing skirt can be a good choice for your legs. As you know, many people wear skinny pants or but this clothing has a negative effect on our legs, like uh, varicose, varicose vein. The varicose vein is induced by some causes, but today the stocking and the skin pinch or similar clothing became a significant cause of varicose vein. So, Wearing skirt is a solution for preventing from very cost pain. Third, there are strong psychological benefits associated with, in, with wearing skirt to men. Uh, other researchers show the men wearing skirt experience a strong sense of freedom and masculinity. Also, the skirt gives a Sensuous awareness of his own body and uh, how it will be shown by others uh, to, me, to him. I have said that the benefit of wearing skirt in health perspective. Now, let me speak to the regions. Let's talk about the second reason why we should wear the skirt. Before that, we want to watch a short video clip.
So in this movie, some of you <laughs> noticed that the famous gladiator Maximus is wearing a skirt. Is it true? Actually, uh, it's very common in ancient Rome. Both men and women <coughs> are wearing a skirt for two practical reasons. First is mo mo mobility. You can free to move to wearing the skirt. Uh, at that time, men's skirt is more shorter than women's because men have more outdoor activity. Uh, for war and labor, men always wear the skirt for practical reasons because it makes your two legs free so it can make you more comfortable so it is good for moving. And next, it is good, good for convenience. Uh, thanks for this simple structure, just try to put up and down. You can easily wear the skirt. Uh, and you can easy to pee. <laughs> Next, it is cool. Uh, we have four seasons in this country, but summer is getting longer and longer. Uh, in this situation, wearing the skirt is the best choice because wind directly come inside our body, but half of this class didn't know this thing. Uh, and this is more important to uh, men because according to the Statistics Korea in 2015, men's legs is about 40% Thicker than women. Uh, some of you remember that in hot summer, your leg is filled of sweat and your pants are fully wet. The more thicker the leg is, the more wet it will be. So, with the skirt, you can all day cool in the hot summer. Last design it will be made. Uh, some of you know the name of this shoes, Louis XIV wearing. It is high heel. High heel is originally designed for the men. It issues the high social status of the men. But after 16th century, uh, it is coming to the woman fashion area. So it can be used to fair time and now it is not only used just to uh, shoot, but also to a uh, social campaign like a uh, human right. Uh, this is the same to the skirt. Once for a uh, man and now only for uh, women. Skirt has, skirt has uh, many great strong points, but men cannot wear because of social prejudice. But if the men can wear the skirt, uh, each possibility can be infinite. So this is all about the three strong points in usage, mobility, design, and cool. Next, Pingyun will talk about the equality. <coughs> So, hello everyone, my name is Tenyan, and I want to introduce to you the final reason of why men wearing skirts. I think it's gender equality. Today, we, we just think men act like men, women act like women. Why do we have to think about that? So, in the 21st century, we have to break out these stereotypes. So I want to introduce the three points of gender equality. Look at this picture. Do you know the words in the blackboard? Yes, it's person pronounces. But do you know the person pronouns like the who the mix? No. It's a person pronounce for sexual minorities like gay, lesbian, transgender and bisexual, and so on. What do you think of seeing this 
personal pronouns. And how about next picture? It's like a bedroom sign, but in the middle of this picture, there are strange personal names. It's a neutral, neutral gender bathroom sign made by Obama's administration. So, our group think this picture, we, when we saw this picture, our group think wearing skirt is a basic step for understanding the child much better. And this means we can respect not only women, but also sexual minorities. And second point is men's wearing uh, the skirt is normal for men's clothes. We think men wearing skirt mainly image is Scottish kilt, as he said. Scottish kilt is a traditional Scotland clothes. They wear it since 70 centuries ago. 70 since 70 centuries for symbol of independence from England. But, however, the origin of the skirt is farther back. About 2,600 years ago, Roman Greek wears toga. Uh, it represents men's power and authority. In nation, China and Egypt, they wear skirt too. It represents power and authority either. So, men wearing skirt is a practical reason for farming because it is easy to wear and so cool. But when the time passed by, men wearing pants to ride on horse for war. So, pants became symbol of the man for a thousand years. How about women? These days, men wearing pants is not weird, right? But a few decades ago, men wearing women wearing pants is not allowed to social recognition. So, our last point is, men wearing skirt is forbidden by social prejudice. Experts said that men wearing skirt is a main thing of a social society to escape men, men organized society and um, improve the woman's life. Some people argue that men wearing skirt invaded men's power and authority, and others think that men wearing skirt can improve women's liberation movement and social and uh, to achieve the social con congregation for sexual minorities. However, our group think wearing skirt is uh, achieve the true freedom for men and can understand each other better. So our next presenter, Dongun, will organize our, our opinion. First, I'm sorry for my bad voice because of my uh, bad coat. <laughs> 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 um, sorry. So we have reached the conclusion of the presentation. We talked about the uh, man in skirts as dividing the three perspectives, pets, using the design, and lastly, equality. We have learned that pets uh, about the hats. So, Sexual, uh, physical, and mental health. So next, usage is shown by the mobility and convenience and cool. Lastly, equality is shown by the opinion. So, <laughs> awesome. so, but some of you guys still still concerned that man in skirts is weird and stupid. Uh, but, however, this is simply not true. 
According to Dr. Sun Hee Kim of Ihua Women's University, uh, clothes have atomic value. It is some, some kind of uh, very difficult term. It means that uh, when people consider the buying clothes, they consider the waking up curiosity and you want as important factors to buy the clothes. So, when when a boys or men consider the buying a uh, buying skirts, skirts can be a curiosity. Uh, uh, skirts can be curiosity and you want. So, see you. Uh, uh, it might be you. It might be. It might be you. You think of uh, when you think of many skirts, you think of a uh, man with men wearing the short short skirts or dresses like that. However, uh, the the skirts are skirts have been skirts have been produced for a, a long time for to fit the to fit the women. So in other words. Skirts are developed. Skirts are skirts have been have developed for the women for a long decades. So, uh, skirts is uh, uh, skirts is made for women's body type and try to make uh, try to look nice for women. But they designers designs designers have not considered. Men's men's body type or men's looking. So, so uh, current skirts are not current skirts are not considered the men's body type or something like that. For our for our purpose of uh, presentation, I I would like to suggest mm -hmm. one thing. It is simple. It is fake it till you can wear it. So, um, our our presentation loses its real meaning when you guys no try no try it or fake it to till you can wear it. So, uh, every every guys in here fake it till you can wear it. Then, uh, ladies in here try to cheer the guys and then. Encourage the guys to wear the skirts. So, lastly, let's again okay, let's let's think of this mark. You can easily encounter the this mark uh, in front of the toilet. So this this uh, mark is represent the gender uh, by either wearing pants or skirts, but. Uh, dividing the gender as a uh, wearing skirts or pants is not uh, is not leisure. Rather than deciding using the skirts or pants uh, like clothes, using the this mark would be better, uh, very effect. So, last of my present, uh, last of my conclusion. Uh, I would introduce a musical which is similar topic to our topic. Our topic was a man in skirts. Uh, this musical Kinky Boots was uh, a story about a drag queen. A drag queen means that a man who dressed up like dressed up like a woman. So, uh, so. So in the in the kinky boots, it is said that we are the same. Just be who you who you wanna be. Just be. So we would like to say that just be wearing skirts. Thank you.
relate to uh, diverse sexual identity more than gender equality. So what do you think about it? Can you rephrase it once more, please? Uh, I think men wearing skirt is more related to diverse sexual identity more than gender equality. Okay, thank you for your question. You're asking uh, men in skirts is, are related more to the diversity, not the equality, right? And my answer is that it could be related more to the diversity, but also um, realizing the equality of gender, we need to, I mean, uh, uh, equalizing, you can realize the, di you can accept the diversity of gender through equalizing gender, like wearing skirts. I think that is not the separate part of the thing we should take. It's kind of correlated, I think. Does that answer your question? Yes. Thank you. I have a question to Kilian. Have you ever worn a skirt? So, when do you do? Thank you for your question. <laughs> you asked me that I have experience wearing skirt. Yeah. I have had experience wearing skirt in the kindergarten to show <laughs> show the audience to yeah. Did that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. not to wear the other um, we have to wear the skirt only skirts only skirts in yeah. the yeah. yeah no no other <laughs> for the <laughs> <head. laughs> <But> it's not <laughs> really uh, any questions Can it be answered to your question? Yeah. Okay. I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really have an idea to wear a skirt? Can you repeat the question? Do you have an idea 
Two male sculptures? Nearly? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thank you for your, your question. Uh, I'm not sure what it means to uh, have a do you have an ID? ID what? It's still okay. So do I have a uh, some oh, we will, we will really we'll trying will. or yes. yeah. so thank you for your attention. So I'm I'm agreeing with uh, this topic was um, some kind of strange and something like weird, but uh, we our purpose was to crush the barrier of the uh, wearing discrimination. So um, so it might be I I might be trying this so to the to crush the barrier of the discrimination of clothes. So I think it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. This is the end, end of our uh, presentation, so this is the <coughs> discussion list. So